welcome and we are live from the Holy Land. Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is Lydia and today we're going to talk about passive income. I'm sure you've seen a lot of YouTubers talking about passive income. There are some things that it is and some things that it is not. Okay, I've divided these things into three distinct categories which are high capital, high time investment, high capital, low time investment, and low capital, high time investment. I didn't make any category for low capital, low time investment because there's really no such thing. Everything requires work. If you own property, it requires maintenance. If you have stocks, they require management. If you wanna write a book, it takes writing. Everything requires effort and work, okay? There's a reason that greatness is rare and it's because greatness requires hard work. Everything that I'm going to be talking about today will have resources linked in the description below, so please go check that out if you're inspired by any one of these ideas. So let's jump right into it. Um, first things first are high capital, high time investments, okay? These are things like developing an app or inventing a patent. For example, you need to code the app, you need to come up with an idea, find a way to market it, find a way to fill a need. Selling life insurance, I think, is a major form of passive income. And the reasons that these things require lots of capital and lots of time are because sales take skills. Also getting licensed in life insurance and maintaining your errors and omissions insurance costs money. Um, developing an app requires a lot of time for education as well as maybe a high investment in buying equipment or paying for a degree. These are things that once you put that out there can have a very, very high return on investment if you have the capital and if you have the time to make something like that happen. First of all, if you don't know how to code, so let's say you have a great idea for an app and you want to build something but you're not really good at coding. There's so many different things available such as like just go check out the link in the description to see all the different platforms that you can use to develop apps. AppyPy, BizApp, so many. I don't really like the names to be honest. Um, some of them are free. I think most of them are not free or you pay some money. Now, if you want to get a patent, there are so many different resources for getting patents. I've personally communicated with this guy, Bradley Fach. He is excellent. He knows what he's doing. He's been doing this for years. His firm is very personable and they can really, really help you with every step of your invention process. One of the cool things about getting a patent that you need to understand is you don't necessarily have to have the invention done to have your patent. It's best if you haven't marketed it, it hasn't even been made before you start filing for the patent because it has to be something seen as very unique with no prior art. And you can do some of your own research on the USTPO website to find out what else exists. Um, there are a lot of resources available. You can use Rocket Lawyer and pay, I think it's like $1,200 to $1,500 for a basic package and they will help you with all of your filing, which it's pretty cool and I'm also really interested in working with InventHelp. Um, they're only for people in the US and I'm actually outside of the US right now so I haven't been able to benefit from their services but they will help you invent your idea and also get a company to buy your patent. This is how you make money with a patent is you have an invention, you have an idea and a company is using it. Now, selling insurance is also high capital, high time investment because sales takes skills, having a license in these sort of financial products and understanding how to help your clients and their fin particular financial situation and working with the companies to know their products. It takes time and it takes capital. However, if you can pull it off, you can live on a very passive income stream for years. Um, for example, one of my first jobs actually was selling insurance and I am still getting dividend payments um, from some of those policies. But basically, selling insurance can be a long-term passive income strategy. If you have a year or two or three to really dedicate to some selling something, maybe while you're in university or pursue doing insurance and annuities type sales because these will give you a passive income stream as long as the policy is in place. And for something like life insurance, that tends to be the whole life of the client. That wraps up the high capital, high time requirement. Next category, high capital, low time investment. And those are things like real estate. So you can go on Zillow and look for real estate. And one of the things is that if you are a first time homeowner, you most likely have to live in your house. Depending on the type of mortgage you have, you cannot rent out the first home that you buy. But let's say you want to reinvest some money into buying real estate. 
owning property requires a lot of capital. It doesn't necessarily require a lot of your time because once the home is move-in ready and they're paying and your tenants are paying rent and they're living there for a few years, you now have a passive source of income. However, when something breaks and when something goes wrong or when someone moves out or when someone stops pays paying, it requires a lot of capital investment and it's um, upfront costs can be very high, especially for retail investors who don't just have cash to invest and need to take out a loan. It can be difficult. So other ways to invest in real estate are real estate investment trusts. I talked about it in a previous video on investing and now this is just one example. Um, the list that I provided and that you can see on the screen is just one example. There's so many different real estate investment trusts out there that you do want to do your own research and find out maybe what works for you. Whether you're a millionaire now or not, there is no barrier to getting passive income. It's really up to you to pick something that you can do and start with what you have and move forward, okay? So if you have, let's say you have a lot of cash sitting in your savings account, it's probably earning 0.03% interest maybe per month you get paid. You might see some interest um, balances being added to your account. It doesn't keep up with the rate of inflation, so a smart thing to do that you could also have as passive income, but it's also a hedge against inflation, is to buy stable coins, buy crypto stable coins, and then put them in an interest account. I, I would caution against going you know, all into this sort of account because it's not FDIC insured. You can use my referral code in the description below and get free Bitcoin. I really appreciate it when you use the links that I've put below because it helps support this channel and I'm just doing this because it's something I enjoy and I have knowledge on the topic and I think this is what people need more of right now. So it takes a lot of capital to have a passive income on any kind of dividends or because it will be a fraction of a percent of your entire portfolio you will receive annually. For example, if you put a million dollars into an account and you're earning 8% on that per year, you could hypothetically live on this interest. So if you want to earn passive income, but you don't have a lot of capital to start with, but you do have time or if you don't have time, make time because you don't have money and this is going to be your best chance. The thing is, even if you work three jobs, you only have 24 hours in a day. So your income is always going to be limited to those hours and the hours that you're working, not the hours you're sleeping, not the hours you're eating, not the hours you spend sitting on the toilet scrolling on your phone, okay? That is why passive income is so, so important. You can write a book. This is a great idea. You can publish for free on Amazon Kindle and have your book available instantly. However, books take time. They need to be written. They need to be edited. You might need to have a co-author. You might have to do tons of research depending on what you want to write about. What skills do you have that maybe you've always wanted to write about or always wanted to share? This is something that you can put in a book and now once it's published, you have a digital product that can be sold and resold and resold. So another thing you can do is create an online course. Um, digital products are really, really good for low capital and high time required type of investments. With all that being said, there are some things that are not so passive that people market as passive income. And I think the number one thing is drop shipping. Drop shipping is always I think it's one of the top things I've seen on YouTube talked about is passive income, passive income. It is not passive. It takes a lot of work. It's a full-time business, which leads me into the next thing of what is not passive income is a business. If you want to start a business, you cannot think that you're just going to sit back and the money is just going to come in. Business is work. Business is building relationships. Business is putting your blood, sweat and tears into an idea and growing it. It's taking rejection after rejection after rejection. It's sometimes it's people's entire life pursuit to start a business. Yes, they can get Bill Gates rich. Obviously, that's why Bill Gates exists, right? He started a company. Now, maybe it's passive income for him. But I don't think I don't see anything passive about about really what goes on. It's probably one of the busiest people on the planet. I remember reading that he actually breaks down his schedule into two minute blocks, two minute increments for his day. This this isn't really what we're talking about here. We're talking about passive income. Where Paulo Coelho, he published one of the most famous books in existence called The Alchemist. It's really the same book that he's had for the last 20 years and it's made him millions of dollars. This is what I'm talking about when we say passive income, where once the work you've done is finished, you can continue earning money on it for the foreseeable future. Nobody, not anybody, is meant to just be 
working their life away. We only get one life and this is why passive income is so meaningful to so many people because we would like to spend our time doing things we enjoy, not working at a job that we hate and have barely have anything left over to enjoy at the end of the day. And if you've stayed till the end, I appreciate it so much. It, everything I've talked about is linked in the description below. If you think this would help somebody you know, please share it with your friends, family, and hopefully you find this inspiring or motivating in some way that you can create more sources of long-term passive income for you, whichever way you see fit. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Take care.